the zila parishad plays an important role in the rural development of our state every district in maharashtra has a zila parishad the zila parishad office is located at the headquarters of the district we shall now study the composition of the zila parishad the zila parishad consists of a minimum of 50 and a maximum of 75 members the members are elected by ballot on the basis of adult franchise some seats are reserved for scheduled castes scheduled tribes and the backward class of citizens some seats are reserved for women the chairman of all the panchayat samitis in the district too are members of the zila parishad the term of office and eligibility of the zila parishad elections to the zila parishad are held every 5 years thus every member of the zila parishad has a term of 5 years a person contesting the zila parishad elections must be a citizen of india he or she must have completed 21 years of age and his or her name must be there in the local voters list next is the president and the vice president of the zila parishad the president and the vice president of the zila parishad are elected by the elected members from among themselves for a period of 2 and a half years they can resign from this office before the end of this term they cease to be the president or the vice president if a motion of no confidence is passed against them when the office of the president of a zila parishad is reserved for women the no confidence motion against such a woman president can be passed only if it is supported by 3/4 of the total members this provision ensures sufficient legal protection to a woman president this checks the tendency to remove a woman president from her office on trivial grounds coming to the committees of the zila parishad there are different committees to implement the various development schemes at the district level effectively in all a zila parishad has 10 committees 1 standing committee 2 finance committee 3 works committee 4 agriculture committee 5 social welfare committee 6 education committee 7 health committee 8 animal husbandry and dairy committee 9 women and child welfare committee 10 water management and sanitation committee of these the most important is the standing committee the standing committee controls supervises and coordinates the working of all the other committees the president of the zila parishad is the ex officio president of the standing committee administration of the zila parishad the chief executive officer is the administrative head of the zila parishad the state government appoints a person from the indian administrative service to this post the chief executive officer supervises all the departments of the zila parishad he is an important link between the members of the zila parishad and its administration the chief executive officer has to take the necessary measures to mobilize all the activities and development schemes of the zila parishad functions of the zila parishad the most important function of the zila parishad is to formulate and implement various development schemes for the district functions related with agriculture these include supplying improved seeds to the farmers for the development of agriculture imparting information about new and improved methods of farming so as to increase agricultural produce and benefit the farmer implementing schemes of irrigation etc functions related with education 
the zilla parishad sets up schools throughout the district to provide the facility of primary education to all it also runs ashram shalas or residential schools for adivasi boys and girls and free hostels for scheduled caste students functions related with health the zilla parishad establishes primary health centers in the villages to maintain public health mobile dispensaries are set up for those living in small villages the zilla parishad also organizes large scale vaccination drives and family planning awareness programs to give impetus to rural development the zilla parishad also encourages and supports entrepreneurs to start small scale industries sources of income of the zilla parishad the zilla parishad has to make financial provisions for its activities its main source of income is the revenue obtained through various taxes like taxes on water markets pilgrim tax etc the state government sanctions grants to the zilla parishad in proportion with the land revenue and also provides money to complete a development scheme assigned to it